So to begin with, uh, we can cover our waypoints. Uh, I'm going to refer to HOTAS controls and uh, I'll try and document how those controls are uh, found, uh, but you will need to have some basic understanding of the A10 cockpit. So starting off with the tactical awareness display on the left, if I hit uh, coolie hat left on my HOTAS, you can see we get a green box around the TAD. I can then DMS up and down to zoom, it's pretty standard stuff. Uh, and you will see the active waypoint in, or well, the active steer point in yellow, with the SPI sensor point of interest. Now the SPI is basically what the aircraft is focusing on. So if I were to uh, hit coolie hat up, you would see a very small asterisk on the HUD on the left hand side just here. This indicates that the HUD is currently sensor of interest. You don't get a green box around the HUD, but it means basically the same thing. Now with the HUD as sensor of interest I can use DMS up and down to cycle the waypoints and you can see the active steer point here has jumped from 1 to 2 like so and the speed by default is set to the steer point and that means that all of the aircraft sensors are looking at the steer point. So if we wanted to bomb a target which is marked on our flight plan we could simply uh, select that like that, uh, waypoint 3 as our steer point, and all of the uh, the bombing solution uh, or targeting information would be uh, aligned to drop bombs or uh, whatever we wanted to do on that point. So that's what a sensor point of interest is. It just indicates where we're focusing our attention. And sensor of interest, or SOI, SOI, just indicates when I manipulate the controls with my HOTAS, what am I changing? So a quick example, if I make the tactical awareness display SOI, uh, my DMS up and down hat zooms in and out. If I then hit coolie hat up to make my HUD SOI, the same controls cycle waypoints. So that's uh, the difference between SOI and SPI. I'm just going to put my aircraft into altitude hold mode and we'll get some speed up because we're pretty much at idle and I'm going to set uh, waypoint uh, 2 as my current steer point and you can see the azimuth bar sorry the, uh, the TVV there has a steering line off it so here is the uh, the current steer point, here is the TVV showing where the aircraft is really heading and there is, uh, depending on what's in view, a steering line uh, off that pointing towards uh, the other object between the steer point and the TVV so you can always kind of find in a turn where you are heading or where your speed currently is. Okay so that's, uh, that's an easy way of finding targets if your pre-planned flight uh, had a waypoint selected for your target. And a typical example would be a bomber flying a flight plan and that flight plan having a, a steer point marked exactly where your target is, like a building, and you just simply drop the bomb where that point was and flew uh, the rest of the flight plan. Uh, ATNs don't normally have that luxury because uh, they do close air support and need to find targets dynamically. So we need to ma manipulate our controls to get the speed uh, where we can uh, find targets, get the speed on them and drop bombs or shoot missiles or fire the cannon to, uh, to boot. So what we'll look at here is a couple of different ways of marking uh, targets. Now the, the easiest one would be making the TAD sensor of interest with coolie hat left. You can see it's got the uh, the green box around it and I can move around a cursor like so and I can use TMS, the hat TMS right to mark a target. So if I knew, for example, that I need to look uh, around this waypoint, I'll just T 
TMS right and you'll see we have a new box created there that is a mark point and I can change my steer point mode with this dial here from flight plane to mark and you'll see that that one mark point I have uh, created has been filtered in so the flight plane itself is now filtered out and I have mark point A uh, if I were to create a second mark point they would be in alphabetical order mark point Z or Z is always uh, the last place that you dropped order ordinance so if you uh, just bombed a target and you want to quickly re-engage you can select mark point Z or Z uh, to find out where that is or just look on the TAD okay all right the next thing we'll cover is uh, slowing our sensors to those targets so uh, I know there's a target around uh, mark point A or a steer point what I want to do is I want to get my uh, targeting pod onto that target to have a look and uh, get a, a positive ID so to do that I'm going to put my targeting pod into air to ground mode now by default my targeting pod is just looking directly ahead and if you look at the HUD you can see there is a, a uh, diamond showing where the targeting pod is looking and we can see on the camera here that it's uh, not doing a great job of finding targets so to slew the camera I'll press China hat forward long now by default the speed is set to our steer point which is currently mark point A and you can see that uh, there is a targeting pod diamond which is now directly over uh, the wedding cake white symbol for SPI and the yellow mark point A so they're all lining up so China hat forward very important control to remember to uh, um, slew all sensors to the SPI or sensor point of interest uh, if you don't want to slew to uh, the speed, but instead you want to slew to the current steer point, uh, China hat aft will do that. Uh, that does not change your speed, but it does slew to the current steer point. So that'll make a lot more sense when you start changing what your speed is. So to do that, we're going to find a target. I'm going to hit coolie hat right, you can see now the targeting pod is sensor of interest and I'm manipulating the controls here and I'm just look for targets I'm going to uh, get the boat switch back to put us into IR or FLIR uh, view and China hat forward short to zoom in with the snap DMS forward once again zooms just like the TAD and I can see I've got a T55 here I'm going to Hit, uh, you can see the targeting board is currently in area. I'm going to hit TMS forward short to put it in point to uh, make sure we're focusing right there and nose wheel steering button to fire the laser. You can see they've also got the range of 7.2 miles to that target. All right, now I've refined uh, my search and from that mark point A, I've got a different location for where that tank actually is so you can see now the targeting pod is off center and so I want to save that location all right there we are so now I'm going to hit TMS uh, up long and what that will do is it will put the targeting pod to be sensor point of interest and you'll see now that we have the wedding cake symbol for the sensor point of interest which is the firing solution so what all the sensors are focusing on is where the targeting pod is looking and so basically where you drop uh, where you drop bombs is uh, going to be on the speed generally uh, it's where the CCRP uh, computer will calculate the release point and so now that point is wherever the targeting pod looks because I've changed the speed to be uh, to be the targeting pod now I'm just going to bring this in online like so you can see down the bottom there we've got the speed with the steering line coming 
towards the TVV. And we'll get the autopilot on there. We'll actually put ourselves in altitude and heading lock mode. Go into the DMS profiles, select our GBU, put it into CCRP, change settings, auto laser on, get 12 seconds for the laser time, save that. Go into the control page, we'll put the latch on, head ground, coolie head up to select uh, the HUD, select the uh, GBU 12 and you can see we now have a CCRP solution for bombing the speed which is right where that targeting pod is looking we'll just zoom that out 3.7 miles we'll look on the HUD here we have the range to steer point uh, it's 2.6 to the speed we've got 12 seconds until the release so we want to get these lines uh, six seconds we want to get the center of that targeting pipper right down that line as it counts to zero there's a bomb away 17 seconds oh and we are hit okay we've still got one good engine so we're going to try and get back to base right engine no fire, left engine full throttle. Okay, I shut down that right engine. Got a caution and warning, left generator, right engine, CRCU. We'll acknowledge that. I think we can arm the systems. head north alright on the uh, positive news looks like we've got the kill on that tank so flying uh, Australian Centre at 7,500 feet was probably a little bit too low for some of that uh, AAA However, the A-10 is a very sturdy bird. Even with a bunch of systems knocked out, I can still quite happily return to base. So we'll get the uh, air traffic control lined up. Right six forward, air traffic control, Batumi, Ember. Thank <laughs> you.